staging dance dramas, dance productions, theatrical with dancers and costumes and live music and um, sets and props was something that was very important for me as I um, presented dance in Los Angeles. I developed several uh, dance productions which toured the country and toured internationally. Shama by Tagore was one of them. In 1997, I wanted to restage it again, and I asked dear Lakshmi Shankar if she would sing, and she agreed. It was exciting to, uh, for everybody, because it was new, a new language, the resonance was different, but oh, the melody, the romance, the beauty of just how the words flowed. I think um, it excited everybody, including the singers, my dancers. When we were thinking about projects to come, go back and restage, Shama immediately came up as um, a possibility. And I think both Auntie and I felt Shama, first of all, has um, not been done in a long time. And not a lot of people know the story. It's um, know the story and the music, everything about it is I would say unique it took uh, Rabindranath Tagore just know you know his work every all of his work have works have such a interesting and deeper meaning we thought let's bring it back and see you know what we could do with it for me Shama was this lovelorn courtesan and Bajrasen was a foreigner he was in love and Uthiyo was a young lad and the Kotal was a policeman and I just saw it as a tragic love story and that's how we staged it. But when I was talking to Uma, it was very, uh, it was very exciting for me to see how she had gone into the depths of why Tagore wrote this story and how each character took on the flavor of the politics of uh, the times. Words or phrases such as the unseen, untouched ruler that created such an image in my mind, and also the faceless, the, the faceless oppressed. Words like that really stood out, and how he was so disappointed and he was frustrated with what was going, the political climate at that time, and how there was no one, there was no voice for the common man. And, and then there was the whole middle, upper class people, like you could say, like Shama represents, that are just. They're there, they're reaping the benefits of the government, they know it's corrupted, but yet they're no, no, no one's doing anything about it. I think the message is really important and it's really, you know, it was true for Tagore back, you know, in his time, but I also think that we can also find a lot of meaning in it. <laughs>
Oh, my God.